today I'm in Scotland in Broughton and I'm here to take part and to watch British National Felon Hill Relays. The relay consists of four legs of various distances. Leg one and four are solo, leg two and three are paired, with leg three being a navigational leg, where the map of the route is given out just after the start. I'm doing leg four, the last leg. My son is doing leg one. Done, Vlad. We have two teams from Preston Harriers. We had A and B teams, men's and mixed, with six people in a team, where two of the legs are solo and two paired legs. There are so many familiar faces. It will be a good day. Let's go, let's see. Good morning. How are you? Did you go by bike? Yeah. In the early hours of the 15th of October, we met in Preston to Morning. all set off to Scotland together in a minibus. There's Roy. This is our driver, Roy. And this is our team leader, Alistair. Good morning. Good morning. The drive from Preston to Broughton Heights in Scotland took about just over two and a half hours. We arrived at the village of Broughton in plenty of time. We were all wrapped up warm for a long day outdoors in Scotland, ready for all weathers. There was about a mile walk from the minibus car park to the registration field. Here's the team. The relays were organised by British Athletics and this year's host was Scottish Hill Running Club, Carnethy. They also hired this young lad, bagpipes player, who was relentlessly playing all through the day. Our team captain registered our teams and swiftly sorted us out with the numbers and the maps. I'm just waiting for leg one runners to start their first ascent, first gentle ascent. I think they go that way then. There's a mountain rescue. Ready? Done, Alistair! Challenging. You, it looked like fun when you were running. It's off, it's off, it's off. I can tell by your number. It's yeah. It's really hanging in there. Oh, you lost your ticket. Let's look. Time now. It's not great. It's not. Yeah, Roy's a good navigator. They'll be running all the time, aren't you, Roy? I've got an idea. Yeah, especially with especially with John Rainford. I think we're going to go to yeah. Wendy, getting ready for leg two. Have you got any more? Oh, you've got more. We've got three people. Let's have a picture. Okay. That's exactly a hundred. That's exactly a hundred. Exactly what? A hundred foot. That's exactly a hundred. All right. Cool. And then it hits that steep climb, and halfway up, starts to get cramped in man. That's on my abs. That's like just couldn't. And these are our leg two runners. Are you okay, girls? You ready? How is Kezikito? Yeah. Let's take a picture of you together. Ready? Cool. They set off as soon as leg one runners tagged them on their shoulder. Sit here and then tag. 
Tag them, tag them, Vlad, tag them. Hold on. Well then, guys, keep it going. 300 meters. Come finish. Hold on. And these are our leg three runners. Hello, let's take a picture of you two. Come on, John. Leg three runners who have not set off yet. If you can make your way over to the starting pen, the next start will start at 10 to 2 and will run until 2 o'clock. The navigation leg was the most interesting because it required proper fell running skills. The map of the route was given out only after about 300 meters from the start. John Green and John Rainford, as well as Roy and Andy, were our top navigators. Have a good run. This is Liam. Liam is doing leg four, and he is in our A team, mine in the B team. I don't know if you can hear me because I've got no microphone. I think we should and this one, please. No, no, no. And this is where changeover is. While I was waiting for my turn to start leg four, many runners have already finished their leg and were enjoying local beers. Did you win Duck Peak? Yeah? Is it first team? Yeah, well done. Well done. Oh, brilliant. What's the, what's the name of the club? Wait. Yeah, there's a club, but they don't have a runner. There's no runner, look. They finished and there's no runner. Well done! Come on, John! Come on, John! Come on, John! Come on, John! Johnson, John! Johnson and Johnson! John. Well done! Go on, guys! Go on! Well done! I'm nearly ready for my leg four. My leg four goes up there, up the hill. And there's some more leg four runners. I had to start my leg four with a must start before must our start. leg three runners came leg back. Four must start. Well done, Preston Arias! My leg four started first with a short downhill turning into a very steep ascent. <laughs> we ran along the rolling hills of Scottish Broughton Heights over the summits of Hammerhead and Grey Yade. Good luck, Olga. Well done. Well, we went 40. They got first. <laughs> Good Great. day. Great day. I can't believe I didn't notice it on the way. On the way there, I didn't notice it. Oh, this is the crew. This is Dark Peak. Those people did, you did the uh, Hodgson Relays, didn't you? Like to? On the way back, we met this sweet old Scottish lady who was 92 years old and she was giving us all sweets. Thank you. Check, check, I'm talking loudly because I haven't got a microphone. It's a check, it's a check. Okay, let's start. Start. Ah! So now we are going back to Preston after finishing our British Bell and Hills National Relays. I want to thank Alistair first of all for organizing it all and Roy for driving. 
Preston Harriers had a great day out in Scotland. I'm going to make a separate video with other runners who took part in the relays. Watch out for it coming up on my channel soon. Goodbye for now and until next time!